All right, let's focus on the forecast now. How many times, Mary, did we say that we were spoiled? Things are quiet, things are calm. Now, Mother Nature is just throwing everything around, including the kitchen sink. There is so much going on out there. There is a lot going on, yeah. and luckily here in Pittsburgh right now, we're just seeing rain, but that's not the case for areas east, and we still have those winter storm warnings into the Laurel Highlands and ridges, and this is what we were talking about, where we see that timing and the temperatures with the system moving in, and it's pretty much just bringing us that recycled air. So we just have warmer temperatures moving in with rain for areas into Beaver County, Butler County, but heading towards Indiana, Westmoreland County, Somerset, further south, Garrett County, Maryland, already over seven inches, Tucker County, West Virginia, blizzard conditions happening there, which means reduced visibility less than a quarter of a mile, wind gusts ramping up 50 miles per hour, and that persisting for longer than three hours. So this is going to stick around through tomorrow morning for those areas, so try to to avoid traveling east and into those higher elevations if you can. Right now in Franklin, 39 degrees. We still have some light rain showers there. 37 Butler, 39 Pittsburgh. We're above that freezing mark, thankfully, and we're going to stay there through overnight. But wind gusts ramping up 20 to 30 miles per hour. It is going to be windy. So when we look at the temperatures versus uh, those winds, so we're going to feel into the mid 30s all through the day, all through the night. We see these rain showers lasting all through the evening. Areas into the Laurel Highlands and Ridges still stuck right around that freezing mark. So that colder air is just trapped, that sinking air. So that's where areas are just going to continue to see that snow piling up. And again, places into those higher elevations up to 12 inches possible. Here again, we just have rain, temperatures in the 40s, but it's those areas like Somerset County, the ridges that are going to be a big problem problem. So additional accumulation expected through tomorrow about five to even six inches. But Garrett County, Maryland, again, Tucker County, West Virginia, the further south you go into the mountains could pick up way more than that. An additional 60, even seven, even eight inches. So I want to point your attention to the drought monitor map. We are still seeing extreme drought conditions across the region. The new map gets issued every Thursday. And again, we still have a lot of really precipitation and to a deficit to make up for, and we're still below average for precipitation by over a half of an inch and then it's been a mixed bag of everything this month. We are tied for the number one spot for the warmest November on record with this colder air we just had. We will drop down maybe to third, fourth, but I think we'll eventually end up in the top 10 at least, but colder air is moving back in for the end of the month through the beginning of December. So today we still have those rain showers around mid 40s for tomorrow. Looks great for light up night Saturday night, Sunday 50, mostly cloudy, mid 50s, Monday. We stay seasonable Tuesday, low 50s, and then we do have mostly cloudy skies and colder air as we head into Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Day. Temperatures around 40 degrees, and we could see another round of rain and snow. We'll